Hello everybody, this is Doug and I am here in a new country today. South Korea. I'm here in Seoul, South Korea. Something a little new for the channel. And I'm here with my friend who's very camera shy, Hello. Moon. And we went to university together at Cornell University back in the States. And we know each other because we both sang a cappella. Stay tuned, maybe we'll sing, maybe we won't. <laughs> Alright, so where are we right now? Guangzhou Market. This is gonna be a little intro video to South Korea. We're gonna go eat some food, explore a little bit, and then we'll see what else we get up to. Here we go. So this is a famous place. What do they make here again? Guabegi. Guabegi? It's like donuts, but I think Korea they call it donasu. Donasi? Donasu. Donasu. Yeah, it's like <laughs> Okay, cool. So it's like fried dough. Yeah. Love it. <laughs> Basically covered in sugar. Awesome. Yep. Let's find a good spot. They're making a lot of these fried, uh, is it potato pancakes or like turnip or seafood? I've had the seafood one before that's just like a bunch of different seafoods fried in this pancake that you guys see here. Everyone's eating. Mung bean. Mung bean. Mung bean but with like some meat. Mung bean pancakes yep. with some meat in there too. Cool. Yeah. And a lot of them have seafood, octopus. Yeah, a lot of them are making the same thing. Okay, here's the menu. Okay. I don't know. What do you think's best? I like the meat mung bean. Okay, Let, let's do that. Whatever you think. Yeah. Have you tried the quality? Uh, oh, makgeolli. Makgeolli. Ah, I was thinking makgeolli were like the rice uh, cake things in the red sauce. What's that called? Yeah. The, okay, yeah. My Korean sucks. <laughs> I know annyeonghaseyo, which is hello, mm -hmm. and kamsamnida, which is thank you. Thank you. And I know banban, ban -ban, which means half half when I ordered dumplings one time. <laughs> and that's about it. This is like a rice uh, sparkling, like like fermented fermented liquor or wine rice wine rice wine okay come samnida that was so fast we've got a long day ahead of us long day we can drink slow <laughs> okay let's should we try this makgeolli oh and i know another word in korean dombe dombe cheers I like it. Actually, you know what it reminds me of? What? Kombucha. Kombucha. Yeah, All right. It's kind of similar. <laughs> it is. Yeah, but it has like that sour fermented taste. Anyway, cheers. Kombay, it's very good. Okay, here we go. Let's give it a try. In the little dip in the soy sauce here. Mmm. You like it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's so good. Good one. I love this kind of stuff. Just like deep fried street food. It's the best. Anything fried good. Anything is anything that's fried is good. And they do a lot of that in Korea. Yeah. Fried chicken is huge here. Chimek. Chicken Chimek. and beer. Okay. I had it for dinner last night. How was it? <laughs> Excellent. Alright. So we're gonna eat up and then we will continue. See you soon. Now before we continue, I want to give a huge thank you to Speakly for sponsoring this video. Speakly is a language learning platform created by two polyglots who each speak seven languages. And they research thousands of language learners to create a unique method of learning that focuses on words and sentences that are the most relevant to actual everyday life. This means that everything you learn with Speakly will be valuable and essential in real life conversations with real life native speakers. Speakly offers everything you need to get started learning a new language including vocab, speaking and writing exercises, listening comprehension exercises, and even music recommendations in the language that you're learning. So guys, I have been using Speakly to brush up on my Russian skills while on the go, which has been super useful because I'm actually here in Mongolia, videos coming soon, where a lot of the older generation actually speak Russian as a second language. So it has been super helpful, and right away I've learned a lot of the phrases that I need in everyday situations here. Speakly is available on web and mobile, both iOS and Android, so click the link down in the description below to try it absolutely free for seven days, and then get a 60% discount if you sign up for an annual subscription. Okay, we're on to the next thing. Moon, what is this? Shike. Okay, we got, it's like a fermented drink with rice in it. Let's see what it is. Here we go. Let's stand right here. Mm. 
It tastes like tea to me, kind of. Mm, kind of. Yeah, it's like with some rice. <laughs> it's like very light and nice and mild, refreshing. Okay, on with to some rice. Yeah. <laughs> Foreigners think it's weird. Huh? Yeah. Well, it's have, like, it's not that weird. Yeah, I guess it's, but it's kind of almost like a uh, bubble tea. <laughs> that there's solids in the drink, it reminds me of bubble tea a little bit at least. Yeah. Look at this market, and this is, part of it is closed, but normally it's even more crowded than this. Wow. Where to next, Moon? <laughs> Where are we off to? I don't to? know. To get some dumpokki. I don't know. Dumpokki, is that it? Dumpokki, that's it. But I don't know where it would be a... Let's find a good spot. I think I ate this the other day. The the blood Sunday. sausage? Sunday, yeah. That is uh, some blood sausage in uh, intestine. Oh, here we go. Here? We could go here. Have you tried this? What is that? What do you think it is? I think it's... Oh, it's pork feet. Is it? Go you! <laughs> How'd you know? Oh, you can see the little toe right here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and right across from me, Directly opposite is sunde. This is a uh, blood sausage, so it's a bunch of rice and I think it's pork, right? Pork meat and blood inside of a pork intestine. Oh, no meat in this one? Okay. Well, it's still wrapped in an intestine. And it's a sausage. And I had it in soup the other day and it was very tasty. And this is... what's that? Oh, that's chicken feet. Chicken feet and... Kansamnida. Oh, you got some more. Oh my gosh, so many things to try. So this is like a tangy, like kind of spicy sauce. Wow. You like dip it in. I love how she just makes the little bowl for the <laughs> sauce within the plastic that is on the plate. That's so cool. So these, you might think, if you're not familiar with Korean cuisine, that this is sushi. No. But it's not. <laughs> Oh. It is. Welcome to Korea. <laughs> thank you, thank you. So this is um, kimbap. Kimbap, which basically means like seaweed and rice. Kim is seaweed. Uh huh. And right, bap is rice. Bap is rice, like but, bibimbap. Yeah. So this is just vegetables in here with some rice wrapped in seaweed, and then we've got the bukboki. Spicy rice cake. Takboki. Spicy rice cake. <laughs> so this is going to be it. just like a chewy rice cake. Yeah, I love these things. We like the texture. Yeah. Really? Really? Oh, I love it. They're like not used to it or anything? No, I, I love that. It's like a big giant noodle kind of, right? Yeah, I know. Okay, let's see. This is a bit, a bit intimidating. Oh, it's huge. <laughs> Cheers. Oh no, I love it. You like it? Mm. Sweet. Yeah. I think of it as like a giant noodle, kind of. Very popular street snack, huh? Yeah. Okay, one bite. Let's finish this. Mmm. Oh, a big bite. Alright, let's give the kimbap a try. Ready? I'm already trying. What? <laughs> I can do it again. Again. Okay, just pretend like you haven't had it yet. <laughs> Here we go. Dip it in there. Oh yeah, dip it in the sauce. Boom. Okay, there we go. Mm. Mm. That sauce tastes like uh, wasabi almost a little bit. Yeah. All right, and we are moving on once again. I'm so full. Me too. <laughs> you gotta try this. All right, we got one more thing to try. There's a long line. It looks very popular. This is the thing that we mentioned at the beginning of the video, which is called... Guabegi. Guabegi. That so much longer than before. It'll probably be pretty fast, right? All right, let's see. It's worth it, I think. Long line here. We'll see you at the front of the line. Okay, so the name of this place is... Can you say it again? Gwanjang Shijang. Gwanjang Shijang. Chapsai. Guabegi. Guabegi. Yeah. Perfect? <laughs> Close to. <laughs> oh, here it goes. It smells exactly like a like a carnival in the US, yeah. the fried dough smell. Yeah, yeah. So we are almost to the front of the line now, and we are watching the man prepare the... Kwabegi. Kwabegi. For like, oh, oh, he's cutting it. <laughs> we almost missed it. <laughs> wow. Oh, she just 
dunks it right in the sugar there, huh? Alright, there it goes. Spensanita secured the bag. Nice job, Moon. Okay, we have our... Kobegi. And it's time to try. After you. Oh, okay, thanks. <laughs> Fried dough. Dipped in sugar. With cinnamon sugar. Yeah. Mm. How is it? How is it? Good. <laughs> Alright guys, we are continuing on. We're going down into the Seoul Metro right now. The subway. And uh, it's quite an experience. It works really well. It goes like everywhere, I think. Clean too. Clean too, yeah. It's a far cry from New York. It's very orderly. No one really messes around, no one talks, it's very silent, I'll show you guys. We're gonna go over to... Iksandong. 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 Sun. Iksandong. Like the sun. Yeah, I said that. You said Iksandong. Iksandong. Okay. Iksandong. And uh, it's gonna be really cool. So, let's do it. Yeah, see, look, the tracks are closed off from the platform. And these doors will open when a train gets here, but otherwise they are closed, so it's safe here. No one falls on the tracks. And everyone's just extremely well behaved here. It's very, very different from New York. All right, we made it out. So we are heading now to Iksan, Iksandong. Iksandong. Yeah. Okay, I pretty much got that one. I'm gonna <laughs> count that. So Iksandong, like, like one part of it is famous for like cute cafes and stuff, like mm -hmm. you said. And the other part's like this. Like, uh -huh. places. Cave, KBBQ. So we've got the Korean barbecue places and then the, the cutesy area that we're going to. Seoul is kind of known for their cafe culture, right? Yeah. They have really nice cafes. I mean, yeah, look at this. It's so just like fancy and lots of good iced coffee. It's a good, it's a good place for coffee. Any Saudis or other Arabs watching this video would, would definitely enjoy it here because of the so much coffee. I love these kind of restaurants. They're so like clean. It's just wood paneling and yeah, some stores and things like that. How do you say like if you bump into someone in Korea like, oh, sorry, excuse me. Chaesong Hamnida. Chaesong Hamnida. Chaesong Hamnida. Okay, thank you. Do you think you're gonna remember that? No. <laughs> but I can pretend like I will. Wow, look at this. This is a BB gun shooting place, I think. Everyone's targets on the wall. And you got the gun here. And there's the shooting range. Oh, Moon's just enjoying the AC. Oh, yeah, good. Oh, it's so cold. Seoul is very, very humid. Oh, that's cool. Wow, look at this. Look, look at this cafe. I just want to check it out. Oh my gosh. We got little train trucks. It's so cool. So what's this kind of house called? Hanok. Hanok. Let's see. I think we can find a spot. Oh my gosh, look at this. So in here they've got a dessert conveyor belt. Okay, what do we got here? Ice latte and ice americano. Oh, it looks so pretty. Look at this. Yeah, the Saudis would love it here. The coffee in Korea is great. There's so many cool coffee places like this that are like, you know, one of a kind and really unique. And then there's also a Starbucks like on every corner. <laughs> like every corner, it's crazy. How is the Americano? Good. <laughs> Back down the tracks. Okay, we're just walking along and we came across this thing behind us here, <laughs> which is kind of like a fortune teller thing. Can you explain what it is? It's like a fortune cookie. Like a fortune cookie, but you get a ball out of this uh, little vending thing and then you break it open? Oh, I think so. You break it open with a hammer over there. Right. And you smash it open and then you get a fortune that you pay a dollar for. So let's do it. We get our little tokens. So now you find the right one. I was born in the year of the rat and what were you, Moon? The cow. The cow, right next to each other, okay. So put it in here. 
and I get my fortune. You can definitely uh, open it without the hammer. So it's very easy to break open, but I'm gonna reclose it because it's more fun to break it. <laughs> wow, nicely done. <laughs> okay. Oh God, that's long. <laughs> <laughs> this is like the rest of your life here. Doug, I'm not translating this. <laughs> Alrighty guys, and I think that is about going to sum it up. It was a good first intro to Seoul, but there is a whole lot more coming. There is a lot to see here, and uh, we'll be making a lot of videos over the next week or so. Thank you so much for the tour, Moon. Thank you. That was a lot of fun. Stay tuned, subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss what is coming up next. But other than that, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.